Hello, KGHS students and families. This video will show you the steps to prepare for the KGHS meet and greet on Thursday, August 27, 2020, as well as reference some best practices to keep technology issues to a minimum. It is important to keep KGCS students' accounts separate from personal accounts. If you are unsure how to do this, please watch the video, How to Keep Google Accounts Separate. I know we've repeated this several times, yet we still get help requests that are typically resolved when they follow those login steps. Students can use various devices, not just a Chromebook. However, they will need to be logged into a Chrome web browser on a PC or Mac or use their Chromebook device. Students will use their student number followed by at kgcs.k12.va.us. If the student hasn't already changed their password, their default password would be their date of birth, two-digit month, two-digit day, four-digit year. Another best practice is to log into Clever, then Canvas. Please watch the video related to those steps. For freshmen, they should be accustomed to using Clever. This may be a newer step for the other grades. However, this is the way all students should get into Canvas. When you log into Canvas for the first time, don't freak out if there isn't any content or if you can't access modules or sections within Canvas. Many of them won't be open until this week after August 25th and between the 31st. As you can see, three of the four blocks have been published for this student. During synchronous learning, your teacher will be teaching using Google Meet, using the same link as the KGHS Meet and Greet. Let's take a look at where you'll find the link. Let's assume Ms. P is our second block teacher. I will click on her class. Her home page will load up. I'm going to scroll until I find the icon for Google Meet. Once I click on it, it will open to a new window. Now don't freak out if you see the following message. You can't create a meeting for yourself. Contact your system administrator for more information. This will happen to any student who tries to log in or logs in before the teacher has. Just refresh your page a few times or close the window and reopen it. Again, nothing will work until the teacher logs in. You may also see this message. This meeting hasn't started yet. Return to home screen. It could be the teacher is about to start the class and hasn't joined it yet. Just like before, just keep hit re refresh or close the browser and click on the link again. Once the teacher is logged in and you refresh the link, the link will reopen in the window. You will see a screen like so. I won't get into details with Google Meet in this video, but the few things you should know are the following. Mute and unmute your mic. Always keep it muted when joining the meeting. Video on and off. Only if a webcam is detected, you can leave it visible when joining the meeting. For this instance, I'm going to turn it off. The snowman has the options to turn on captions as well as other settings. If you have more than one device connected, you may need to go here to correct the co uh, correct one. Join now will join the meeting with the options for the mic and video that you've selected. Present will share your screen. Do not use that unless instructed by your teacher. Improper use of the present screen could violate the code of conduct. Let's go ahead and click join now. If the teacher is using their webcam, you'll see the video, otherwise you'll see their profile picture. If you hover over the video, option for mic, video, and end call will be displayed. The other important option is the chat feature. Let's turn on by clicking the message icon. Using this feature, you can send messages to everyone. Just make sure you use it appropriately. Now let's end the call. If you accidentally close the window, you can click rejoin. Make sure you mute the mic before joining. Let's take a look at how another teacher may have the link. Go ahead and click on dashboard. Let's go to Mr. Burns' classroom. As you can see, he has a rocket with Google Meet. Open that. And here he has three other blocks. He has his three classes listed. Make sure you select only the block you have for him and then follow the steps shown a few minutes ago. KGHS looks forward to seeing you online during the virtual meet and greet. We hope this short video is beneficial as we travel and navigate the waters ahead in the online environment.